Um, with the tragedy of El Paso, we had Gilroy just last week. Um, this is a room obviously full of leaders. And you're on the ground every day. And there are so many people, families, parents and children and grandparents who look in your eyes every day, searching your eyes to find out if everything's going to be okay. And you are the leaders who hold people up because the work you do every day gives voice and empowers so many people who, especially in these last couple of years, have been the subject of targets of hate, misinformation, and, 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 and coming from the voices of very powerful people, including the President of the United States. But the work you do every day is to remind people of their strength and their power and their right to belong. And I think it is moments like this for all of us in our lives and in the history of our country that will be a test for each of us about our commitment to the professions and the lives that we have all chosen. And I know by knowing who is in this room that we are up for it. And we are rising to meet this challenge. And that in quiet moments when we are alone, we may experience despair and pain, but we've got fight and we've got strength and we are on the right side of history. And when this is all over and this moment passes, we will remember that we were the ones who fought for the best of who this country is and we were the ones who made real those promises that were articulated when we wrote the Constitution of the United States and all of its amendments and the Declaration of Independence and the Bill of Rights and those words that we spoke in 1776 that we are all equal and should be treated that way. We are the ones who are making those words real and making those words live and keeping a commitment to this country in terms of its ideals. And so I thank you. Thank you. <laughs>